What is going on YouTube? Patrick here. Holy cow, you guys. It was a fantastic week for sales. Q4 is in full swing. I hope yours are going just as well as mine are. Oh my gosh, there was 26 sales last week for over $1,100 in total sales. Holy cow. There are so many of these things. It took me an extra day to get these things ready, right? This is normally on Wednesday, so it's Thursday. Uh, but let's, let's jump into it. Uh, there's so many go to go through, and oh my gosh, my life has been busy. My new poker tournament league starts tonight, so like I've been working on that. Hence my uh, my poker shirt. It says uh, "Poker Face" on there. <laughs> Pretty silly. I love silly t-shirts, you guys. Uh, they're the fun, the funnest. <laughs> All right, item number one this week. Uh, this is a Department 56 Village piece. I had picked up 12 of these for $100. Basically one of the last weekends of doing uh, garage sales this year. I, since that was since it was 12 for 100, they were about $8 each. Right, and you guys can see this one sold for $50 plus shipping. So really amazing on these things. Like uh, definitely this is something you will find out there. Just got to pay what they're worth, right? There's also a bunch of accessories you can pick up. I would say if you can't get those for a couple bucks, like stay away from them. Uh, but some of them definitely have some value. Uh, all right, item number two. Uh, this is a Monty Python 12-inch figure, uh, Sir Robin. Uh, I will not be singing the song for you today, but I do love to sing that little song that, that's in the movie. This is from Monty Python and the Quest for the Holy Grail. Uh, basically my friend Liz was uh, helping her parents move and she found a bunch of board games and some toys and some other things and I told her if it's brand new bring it to me and who knows what else they had that we didn't even get to see but this was brand new so she brought it um, and yeah since uh, since it's a commission for Liz it's 40 40 20 so 40 percent goes to Liz 40 percent goes to me and then 20% set aside for fees and packaging and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be about $24 to me and $24 to Liz. Thanks, Liz. All right, item number three, another commission. This one's from Matt. He brought over some video games and some board game stuff that they weren't playing anymore. Um, right, one of the things with board games, you got to go through them, make sure all the pieces are there. Uh, so I did that, and I found that there was a couple extra pieces that weren't supposed to be in there, including this one. And what this was is a uh, Kickstarter exclusive figure. Uh, so right, always, the rule is look everything up, right, you guys? And if it wasn't worth anything, I just included it with the board game itself. Uh, but by itself, it actually was selling for anywhere from like $30 to $50. Like, that's pretty nice money just for a little figure like this. So I priced it at $50, let it, left it up for like three or four weeks, <clears throat> finally took best offer of $35. So same deal, it's gonna be $14 to me, $14 to Matt, and then a little bit of money going to fees for eBay. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> All right, item number four. This is, the, this is the first of these I've ever sold, a license plate. I've bought probably like five or six of these now, not really sure if they were gonna sell. I didn't, wasn't into these for very much. I think it ended up being like 50 cents each, uh, but I decided let's just try this. Let's see if this is a category that I can make work. And this is the, the first one that sold, so it sold for $10 plus shipping. I, I basically took an Amazon mailer, like one of those bubble mailers, popped it inside of that and taped it shut. Uh, and the person, they got it and it was nice and safe. So like definitely an easy process. So I'm gonna just keep looking for these, seeing if I can sell some more in the future. So definitely nice little flip, 50 cents into $10. All right, item number five, video game for the Wii, Just Dance 2. This is another Liz game. Uh, when she had given me all that stuff, there was a bunch of video games in there as well. This one was, I believe, brand new. So brand new video games, right? Doesn't really matter even almost what the title is sometimes. They can actually have a little bit more value than the best looking used version of that game. Uh, Just Dance is a pretty popular series. So definitely uh, you can bundle these together in, in lots of anywhere from one, two, three, four or up. Uh, but yeah, not too bad there. So $6.40 to me, $6.40 to Liz. Thanks, Liz. All right, item number six. Um, this one, without asking Amber, who I can kind of see moving around in the background back there, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is- Amber's weird sale of the week. <laughs> uh, this is, I think the Muppets Christmas movie. I don't even remember which one it was. I did not look this up ahead of time. I just said it's Blockbuster VHS Muppets on it. Um, but I think it was the one that had, uh, 
Michael Caine in it. I think that's what it is. Muppets Christmas. And um, it was just in the Blockbuster box, right? So it's the old Blockbuster rental case. And she found this. We were at Goodwill. She found it. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. And she put it back. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> and she's like, well, we're not buying this. And I'm like, we're 100% buying this. <laughs> and you guys can see it sold for $20 plus shipping. And the person was really happy with this. Right? I think at Goodwill, this was... 99 cents for VHS tape. So like super easy pickup, easy flip. Uh, I've been looking for one of these for probably two years, just Blockbuster in the original kind of Blockbuster rental case like this. Just don't really find them very often. They are apparently out there. So uh, yeah, not gonna break the bank on this, right? As far as like making tons of money, but they'll sell and they sold fast actually. So great little flip here. All right, item number seven. Uh, this is a Kodak Ektographic 3 slide projector. I had talked about this in the video I put up last Saturday talking about top 10 used electronics that you can pick up that are great flips. This this is a great one. I bought this for like $5 at a garage sale a few weeks back, honestly. Probably more like a month back, something like that. And you guys can see I sold it for $100 plus shipping. Now, this is probably the primo of the primos as far as the slide projectors go. There's a couple others that are gonna fall into this range also as well, but most of them I think are gonna fall into like the $50 to $100 range. But the Ektographic 3, like these are great. I have sold them anywhere from $75 up to $150, depending on time of year, depending on demand, depending on how many are for sale at that point. So this one, they're, they're definitely out there. You will find these different models of them. Um, I find them at thrift stores, find them at, at garage sales, estate sales, you name it. Get them the cheaper the better. You will find some of these that will not work. There'll be a short inside of them where the, the carousel won't advance or maybe the light bulb is out and, or, and even replacing the bulb isn't going to get to work. So there's usually like some sort of an electrical short and then you may find some rust in these as well. So stay away from those. Uh, but yeah, $5 into $100. Great flip. All right, item number seven, another of the Department 56 Village pieces. This one sold for $45. Same story as before, you guys, into this for $8. So like, just fantastic, right? That's almost six times what I invested getting it back. Like, that's the kind of flip you want. And like I said, you guys will find these. They're definitely out there. Um, some speed bumps with this one. Sometimes they're gonna be broken inside. Like even a few, uh, one, one of the ones in this lot of 12 that I bought had a, a chipped corner. And that's going to significantly de devalue it, basically. So just be careful of that. A lot of times they have some really breakable towers on it, like some of the churches or some of the buildings will just have spindly pieces, and then those can break off very easily. Uh, so just double check them. All right, item number nine, an easy one. This is a little Schleich Rhino, a rhinoceros, right? Pick these up if you can, anywhere from like 50 cents to a dollar. Any more than that, you're going to be starting to get into really thin margins here. And you can see, I think I paid 99 cents for this and it ended up selling for, I think, $10 or $11 free shipping. It ended up costing about $4 to ship. So it's going to be about $7 uh, after after all, all said and done. So not a ton amount of profit, but super easy to list and ship. All right, item number 10, yet another Department 56. I think you guys are going to see me go through these like hotcakes over the next couple of weeks just because people are starting to pull their Christmas stuff out and they're they're like, oh, I need another village or one broke in storage. That's, that's the key right there. Something broke, so they're gonna replace it. Uh, so same story, $8, sold this one for $40. All right, item number 11. This is a Hallmark ornament, another Muppets thing, two Muppets things in one week, that's pretty funny. Uh, Gonzo, I had picked this one up with Miss Piggy a few weeks back at an estate sale and didn't really know how much they were worth when I bought them, but I liked them, so I was like, I'm just gonna grab them and take them home. Uh, checked my inventory on it. I actually already owned this one myself. Uh, the Miss Piggy I kept for, for myself, that'll go on our tree. Uh, but Hallmark, this, uh, this Gonzo figure didn't sell for a lot. Like, I think it was $12 free shipping. Ended up costing about $3.50 to ship, so it's gonna be about $9.84, something like that. So not, not a bad little flip, not a great little flip, but Definitely some Hallmark ornaments can have some good value, so keep your eyes out for that one. <clears throat> All right, item number 12, an iPod. I, I also had talked about these in last Saturday's video about used electronics that can sell really well. iPods are definitely in that category. Uh, some of the other MP3 players you can find will do well, but iPods are where it's at. That, that's where you're going to get the big money. Um, I paid up a little bit on this. I think I ended up paying about $8 for it, and you can see it only sold for 30 but... 
eight dollars and a third is still going to give us about twenty two dollars in profit so definitely some room to make some money there these things are pretty easy to uh to list right just charge it up make sure it charges play a little bit of music i normally let these things play for like four hours just to see how much battery is left after that point don't have to listen to the music the whole time just plug some headphones in leave it in the other room don't even pay attention to it set a timer come back later and check it if it's working it's working if it's not done um, if they're not working collect the ones that don't work and lot them together at the end of the year or at some point during the year where you've got enough that you're like i got to get these out of my house uh, but you can see right 30 bucks for this one it was working uh, some of the some of the more iconic looking ones can sell for 50 100 150 even even more if you find some of the rare ones so definitely a good item to keep your eyes on all right item number 13 uh, this is a reseller bread and butter right Sony DVD VHS uh, I had originally thought this one was worth a little bit more I thought maybe like seventy dollars didn't sell for like a month maybe six weeks I lowered the price down to 60 and then within a day got an offer of 50 and I was like you know what let's get this thing out of here I had bought this at you know I don't even know where probably an estate sale or at a thrift store for like ten dollars so even still, $10 into 50, definitely gonna be doing well on these things. All right, item number 14. This one's a little bit more unusual, right? This is an, a vintage calculator. Uh, part of the, the allure of this one was that it was a local company here in Connecticut. It was the, uh, I think the Royal Typewriter Company. And if they weren't 100% local here, they definitely had some facilities in this area where I live. And uh, so this guy who used to work there, he had a whole box of these things as far as like different models. There was only, there was two of these actually. Uh, and I was like, well, I'll buy them all from you. I don't know what they are. And he was like, how about 10 bucks for the two that are the, that were like this style. And then he wanted, I think another $10 for the rest of the calculators. So like gonna do really well on this lot. You can see this one, I sold it for $80 and you guys, this thing didn't even work right it just the allure of it was that it had its packaging and instructions and i'm assuming somebody's going to try and fix it maybe and resell it for even more if it had worked i think maybe i could have gotten like 200 for it but these vintage calculators sometimes can have value so definitely take a look when you find them all right up next item number 15 uh, video game donkey kong country returns for the wii definitely paid up on this one i had thought it was going to be worth a little bit more the i got it in a lot and I wasn't really 100% sure what was in it, so I paid up on the lot, and I shouldn't have, you guys. So it ended up being like $5 a game, which is just too much. And I ended up selling this one for, I think, $12 free shipping. So we're gonna end up being about $8 after shipping, so $5 and $8. I'm not making any money on this, you guys. <laughs> All right, item number 16. Uh, yeah, that's a big one. That's a big dollar amount. Guess what? This one is the <laughs> This is uh, this is from my friend Heather. Uh, her father was moving. Uh, we went through all of his storage unit stuff, just tried to help them with some stuff for the move. Uh, I basically had kept this one in my storage unit for like a year after he moved because we were looking for some of the pieces. We never really found all of them, so I listed it incomplete. And you guys can see, even incomplete, this thing sold for two hundred eighty dollars. If it had been complete, I think I could have gotten more like four or $500 for this thing, which would have been incredible. Um, I probably could have picked up the pieces that I needed. I was definitely interested in trying to clean out some stuff before Christmas. So I just listed it the way it was. And uh, so because it's commission, we're gonna do the same thing, 40, 40, 20. So it's gonna be about $112 to me and $112 to Heather. Thank you, Heather. All right, item number 17 vintage furby from the late 90s you guys right now it is more than 20 years old so it is vintage now and it was brand new this is another of liz's items that she brought from her parents house uh so since it sold for 50 dollars it's gonna be 16 dollars to no that's that math is not right <laughs> it's gonna be 10 dollars. no that can't be right either it's 20 it's 40 percent. so let's see here if we can do the math ten dollars i can't do the math you guys i don't know what's wrong with me I've written down $16 here. Yeah, Amber handed me her calculator. <laughs> Times 0.4. Why can't I do this? $20 to me, $20 to Liz. What is wrong with me? That was such an easy math. I've got my, my head is going crazy with all the stuff that I'm going through. And then 
like I said, starting that new poker poker game tonight. So I'm, I'm like completely agitated about that, trying to make sure everything's ready for it. But all right, so $20 to me, $20 to Liz. Thank you, Liz. <laughs> all right, item 18. This is funny because you saw the other game piece earlier from Arcadia Quest, and then the game itself sold. It actually sold for almost the same amount as that figure did, so about $40. This one's going to be $16 to me and $16 to Matt. Thank you, Matt. All right, item number 19. I had picked up this one at a tag sale probably weeks ago, right? For, if you're not familiar with Connecticut and the Northeast, tag sales are garage sales. That's just what we call them here for whatever reason. Um, basically, I had gotten to this sale early. We went to this neighborhood sale. And of course, like the, the guy who I was talking with said, oh yeah, you gotta go see my neighbor's sale. He's gonna have video games. So I walked over there. I was probably like 20 minutes early. And there's already somebody else there buying all the video games. <laughs> gotta let it go when you don't when you don't hit those scores. That's okay. I still got this one. Uh, ended up paying five dollars for it and selling it for twenty. Definitely a nice little video game flip. All right, item number twenty, a VCR. This one wasn't a good story, you guys. It was stereo, so I bought it without really doing any any comping on it. Paid ten dollars for it. Got home, it wasn't the best, right? NEC just isn't one of the better brands of VCRs. Uh, I thought maybe I could get like $30, $35 for it. Finally, after it had been listed for like two, three months, I took a best offer of 20. It's gonna be okay. Let's get this thing out of the house, reinvest that money into something that's gonna be a little bit better. All right, item number 21, another video game, Zelda Twilight Princess for the Wii. This came from that same lot as the, uh, the Donkey Kong Country, so I would have been into this for about $5. Uh, and you can see it sold for, looks like $16 free shipping. So a little bit better on this one. Uh, not going to be the best flip of the week, both though, by any means. <laughs> Item number 22, another of the Department 56. This one's, this one's primo though, guys. You guys can see, right? $100 for this set. And I was only into it for $8. Holy cow. I was super happy when I was able to find a couple of these and look them up and just be like, did really well on this. I think with the $100 that I bought, when I bought 12 of them, I think it's gonna end up being like $500 in uh, in sales, which is just crazy. And uh, right, just gotta be able to, to pounce when you get those kind of opportunities. All right, item number 23, Dork Diaries. This is a lot of eight books. Paid too much on these guys. I, I think I ended up paying about a dollar each. Uh, so right, it would have been about $8. And you can see I sold them for 16. Um, I do love selling book sets but you wanna get them for like 50 cents if they're only gonna be worth about a dollar, two dollars, something like that, not a dollar. A dollar is just gonna to be too much. Unfortunately, with a lot of these hardbacks, right, the parents ended up paying, I think, 10 to $15 for them, so they're gonna want a dollar a lot of times. You gotta exercise that restraint, not buy them. <laughs> All right, item number 24, uh, Ninja Coffee Maker Part. This is the, the filter holder for like a coffee bar version of their, their coffee makers. I have talked about these things several times. Uh, definitely a when in doubt, parted out type of situation. By itself, I think the Ninja Coffee Bar usually sells for like 30 to $50, so really not bad. But if you part out every one of the pieces, you can get over $100 for everything. Uh, so a couple of them slow movers, right? This has been for sale probably since like April or May. Right, and we're in mid-November, so it took it six to seven months to sell, but it did sell. Uh, and a bunch of the other stuff sold right away for like $30 each, right? So I made my money back no problem a long time ago. So this is all profit now. Uh, because I bought the unit probably for like five to $10 in total, I had to just kind of make up a price on this. I ended up putting like $2 on this. All right, item number 25, a Franklin baseball glove. Basically, I've been experimenting with baseball gloves the last basically year. Before before then, I really hadn't bought them, um, but I paid five dollars for a bunch, like individually for a, like five of them, I think. And this is, I think, the last of them to finally sell. It took a year to sell, but it did. And surprisingly, in November, I think it ended up going to California, which is pretty funny, uh, right? Nice and warm in California this time of year, apparently. <laughs> uh, but fifteen dollars, not bad. Um, I, what I found is some of the Rawlings ones were selling for more like twenty to thirty or more. Uh, the Franklin, not not the best. And then there's a couple other brands that did all right. Um, definitely some money to be made. I would say, uh, similar to books, get them as cheap as you can. All right, item number 26, and this is the last one this week. 
This one looked like some vintage 1980s muscle men, M-U-S-C-L-E, it's, it's an acronym. Uh, but it turned out to be from a more recent line called Super 7. So that company has been making new toys the last few years. And it was some kind of toy line or movie line or something that I've never heard of called The Worst. Never heard of it. Don't have any idea what it is. Uh, but I, I paid 50 cents for it and uh, sold it for $10. So not going to be unhappy with that at all. I do love selling toys and I do have a fondness for even things that look like toys from the 80s. That's always going to be fun for me. All right, so that is going to do it this week, you guys. Let's do a quick recap of the week. I did end up listing 25 items. So that was that's like three weeks in a row, something like that. And I think that's really helping with sales. Just being very consistent, listing items every single day. I think that's really helping me get my store noticed by people, getting the, my listings into the search results. And then it's not hurting that it's November and Christmas is coming up. People are buying a lot of things for Christmas gifts for people or replacing Christmas decorations, right? So if you've got Christmas decorations, Department 56 or your blow molds that you're holding on to, right? There's a bunch of other little Mr. Christmas items, right? I've got one of those right now that I need to test, <laughs> get that listed as soon as I can. I keep forgetting to do that. I keep buying, I keep buying more stuff, right? Like, so that's always the most, the most fun is anything you bought that's brand new that you just like, oh, I can't wait to, to deal with this one now. Uh, but like I mentioned, $1,137 in sales which is pretty amazing. Cost and goods sold was, was up there this week, $348. Uh, mostly because, right, a lot of it was commission. Some of the big items were commission items. So I'm gonna pay for that and that's okay. I, I don't mind. I'm getting a good amount of money out of them even still at the 40% there. Uh, looks like fees, my fee estimates about $175 and all that stuff. So all in gonna be $524 out of the 1,137. So really not bad at all. Um, let's see here. I spent about three hours outsourcing last weekend. I went to some thrift stores, a couple of state sales, found some good stuff. So come back on Saturday and check out for some, uh, some live footage. There will be live footage, even if I have to stay up to all hours of the night tonight, getting it done. <laughs> uh, I spent five, five hours approximately listing. And then we spent about two hours shipping, which is kind of surprising. I'm, I'm like, we must've been on a roll getting some of this stuff shipped out last week because we had a ton of stuff. Uh, and then I spent about three hours going through stuff, doing what I call research, right? Looking up stuff, doing inventory management, going through my, the, the eBaby room, looking up stuff, making sure that if it's not worth anything, I'm not keeping it on the shelf. I'm donating it. If it is worth something, moving it to the front so I know that I need to list it soon. Going through it and kind of prioritizing also, just making sure it is like where I need it to be. So taking that uh, 113070 and minusing out that $500 and then dividing it by the 13 hours I spent last week. So that's just profit. So in profit, $49 an hour last week, you guys. Holy cow. My goal is $30. So 49 is well above that and definitely feel like a big success last week. So it was, it was great. Um, I was flying high uh, and then something took me down a notch as well. So like, of course, that's usually what happens. So I'm trying not to let success go to my head. Uh, <laughs> but that will do it. Um, if you've enjoyed this content, please smash that like button. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this or live footage from thrifting or from garage sales, please subscribe. There will be more content of that. I'm trying to still publish two videos a week. Uh, wish me luck on that. It feels like it's just been a roller coaster of just lots of stuff going on in life. And uh, we'll be going on vacation in about, I don't know, within the next couple of months as well. So of course that'll infringe upon me getting this stuff done. We'll see, we'll see. But that'll do it for this week, you guys. Once again, my name is Patrick and thank you very much.